shit. Yo, what up, y'all? Wonder Thai here. And today we're gonna be reading Slug Girl by Junji Ito. My friend Yuko, who's known for her chatty character, has suddenly become quiet recently. It seems like she's getting too lazy to talk. Even when she speaks, it's like that. About that, I've been unable to speak well lately. Her pronunciation has become really bad, like as if she has a big ass motherfucking tongue. Yuko, are you not feeling well? Hmm, never again. It feels like I'm not feeling well. Soon after, her condition grew more and more serious, and finally, she couldn't make it to school. There isn't anyone at home? I'll check the backyard. Alright, there are tons of fucking slugs in the backyard. What should I do? Oh? It's useless to kill them. They'll just keep on spawning. The sun doesn't get in here. It's too damp. Hey, get the salt. Huh? Rie, I haven't seen you for a long ass motherfucking time. Hello, auntie. Hey, auntie. Are you here to visit Yuko? She's in her room. Come in. Yuko, Rie is here to see you. Oh, Yuko, what happened? Are you not feeling well? Lady, she looks like she's about to vomit. Of course she don't feel well, what the fuck? Yuko, why are you wearing a mask? We ain't got COVID, come on, take that mask off. Did you catch a cold? The doctor had only mentioned that your mental health is weak. Yuko, does it feel weird in your mouth? Let me take a look. Ugh. Go away. Yuko, what the hell going on? I came in here as your mother to come take a look at you, you ungrateful bitch. What the hell is going on? Oh, good old. Don't bother me. The fear in Yuko's eyes is not normal at all. It's totally different from her usual cheerful self. The fuck going on with this bitch? Come to think of it, I've seen Yuko in such a fear in the past. It was when we are still in elementary school. The backyard in Yuko's house was just like how it is now, with a whole lot of slugs everywhere. Yuko hates slugs the most. Some of our classmates went to her house to play, and one of us tried to scare Yuko with a slug from her backyard. Yuko's expressions of fear shocked me. Of course, after that incident, she never went near the backyard. However, the changes in her health are so weird this time around. Next day. Ooh, wow. D doctor Auntie. Yo, auntie. What the fuck happened? Uh, y Yuko's tongue. Ah! Y Yuko? <laughs> Yo, girl, what that tongue do? Hold up. E yeah? Yuko's tongue has turned into that. Huh? Huh? No way, Yuko's tongue looks like a slug. You're right, Yuko's tongue has turned into a slug. Eee. Her tongue has not listened to her commands. It has become a huge crawling slug. Such a disgusting sight, but, but this is true. Oh, poor Yuko. The slugs which Yuko hates the most is crawling around her mouth. Y'all know damn well Ron Weasley is responsible for this. Uh, uh, sure. No, don't come in close to you, ugly ass bitch. Don't come here. I ran out of that house in fear, and I've never gone back to visit ever since. I only got to know what happened to Yuko from her parents. Yuko cut off that slug tongue using a scissor, but it grew back after some time. It don't work no matter how many times she tried. Slugs are mostly afraid of salt. Get that fucking salt in here. Her father tried pouring a large amount of salt in her mouth, but Yuko spat it out like she couldn't take it. Come on, Yuko. Mama didn't raise no bitch. <coughs> Man, this bitch better put on some fucking masks. Don't fucking cough in here. Don't you know it's COVID? And since she was unable to eat, she became skinnier and skinnier. 
The parts of her face where the slug had crawled around were all shining and silver. Since it has turned out like this, we should- What do you want to do, dear? Fill the bathtub with salt and get Yuko to stay in there. Although it'll be tough for Yuko, it should be able to work. The slug being buried in salt will surely die from that. Now hurry up, bitch, and give me the goddamn salt. Good. This should be enough. You go get in. You can do it. Listen. Listen, when you're in the upside down, can you look for Will? Oh wait, wrong horror. Listen well. After diving in, you must open up your mouth widely. Yo, hold up. What are they doing with that mouth? Yuko, you can do it. Hang in there, Yuko. But Yuko did not come up even after waiting so long. Hold on, dear. Isn't it too long? Yuko, what happened? Answer me. Oh, this is bad. She fainted. Huh? Isn't this her pajamas? And her underwear? Yo, hold on, this bitch is butt naked under that salt. Where did Yuko go? Yuko, where are you? Uh, what is this? Wh where's the body? Where did Yuko's body go? Hi. Uh, look at this, dear. There's a small body near the head. The body has shrunken due to the salt. They rushed to pour water on Yuko's head, hoping that the body would return to its normal size. What the fuck? Why are they putting water on it like it's a ch 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 chia? However, ew, what the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. Until now, it's still in the backyard. Just like a snail, the slug carried her head onto its back. The slime is rumored to be particularly from the slug. Ah, oh, so that's where Nickelodeon gets their slime from. And also, there will be a sad gaze from the shell staring at anyone who is nearby. The end. God damn, Junji Ito, this is a weird ass fucking story, y'all. Uh, it's a great story though. Um, thank you so much for those who voted for it. I will be doing The Whispering Woman next. So stay tuned for that one, y'all. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if y'all haven't already for new content. All right, y'all. Peace.